Hello guys, welcome back to Ink to Aviation. I'm Chalaka Prasad and today we'll go through the steps which are required to get a Indian commercial pilot license. So guys, many of those who want to do CPL are always lost with a lot of doubts how to go about the entire process. So I have divided this entire process of obtaining a CPL from the scratch into five stages. Stage one, the candidate needs to be of age 18 and above. Education qualification needs to be 10 plus two with an aggregate of 55% in max and physics. I know some schools don't have max and physics as a mandatory requirement. For those, there's an option called NIOS, National Institute of Open Schooling. The website is www dot nios dot ac dot in you will find the link in the description section guys this is a website which lets you write any school subject at any given point of time so you need to enroll on this website get your max and physics sorted out first stage two medicals pilot medicals are divided into two parts class two and class one Class 2 medical can be done in every state available in India. There are certain designated doctors who can get you a class 2 medical certificate. The list of doctors is available in www.dgca.gov.in. The link is again available in the description bottom. Guess after getting your class 2 medical, you will be assigned a dedicated unique file number taking which you need to apply for class 1 medicals which is higher and much more restricted compared to class 2 medicals. This can be done in total 6 centers in India, the top 3 being IAM Bangalore, AFCME Delhi and IAF Assam Johrat. So the stage 2 is done, the medicals are done. Guys, next comes exams. You need to log into www.pariksha.dgca.gov. IN. The link is again available in the description guys. You need to log in, submit your 10 plus 12 certificates for verification and once verified, you will be allocated a unique roll number through which you can apply for online exams. So guys, after you get this roll number, the fourth stage starts in, that is giving the exams. Guys, the details of these exams will be again found, will be found on www.pariksha.dgca.gov.in. I mean, the exams are conducted four times a year. The exams which you need to clear are air navigation, meteorology, air regulations and technical general. There will be two more exams which you need to be giving that will be depending on this type of aircraft which you will be deciding to fly on. Guys, apart from these exams, there is one more exam which you guys need to clear which is called the RTR radio telephony which is not conducted by DGCA, it is conducted by a different organization altogether called the Wireless Planning Commission. The details of this exam will be available on www.wpc.gov.in. The link is again available in the description at the bottom. Guys, after these exams are clear, you will need to hunt for a flying club. This is the fifth stage. You can pick up flying club, flying academy, go there, fly for 200 hours, which is the mandate requirement by the DGCA to get a CPL issued in India. Guys, so these are the five stages you need to complete to get an Indian CPL. Now guys, I have not covered many topics like the validity of the exams or the expenses, how much is it going to cost you to get a CPL in India or whether to fly in India or abroad. Guys, the whole purpose of this video is to give you a gist or the stages which you which are there to get you a CPL from scratch. However, you have any more doubts in any particular stage or any other queries regarding how to clear the exams please feel free to ask in the comment section. I will get back to you in two ways. Either I'll reply back to the comment or I'll make a video on your doubt. So till then, thank you and have a good day.